Well, the singer Lizzo has more legal troubles tonight. The artist faces more allegations of fostering an inappropriate, sexually charged workplace. They come on top of a sexual assault harassment lawsuit from three former backup dancers. Lawyers for the dancers say more people have stepped forward with similar stories. Lizzo denies those claims. Joining us now is News Nation correspondent Sloan Glass. And Sloan, you've been following the developments. What's the latest? Hey, Elizabeth, the attorney for the dancer says some of the new claims are outside the statute of limitations. Others are allegations that are still being vetted. These new complaints happening as the ex dancer's legal team asks for more people to come forward and corroborate their clients' claims that the singer created a hostile work environment. This is a Me Too type situation where, you know, you have these dancers, you have folks who are working for Lizzo, and they're afraid, but they're strength in numbers, and I would encourage anyone not to be afraid anymore. You don't have to be worried about rich and powerful people in Hollywood. It doesn't have to be old white men. It can even be people like Lizzo. The attorney for the former backup dancers revealing we have received at least six inquiries from other people with similar stories since we filed the complaint. Noelle, Crystal and Ariana have bravely spoken out and shared their experiences, opening the door for others to feel empowered to do the same. In their suit, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams and Noelle Rodriguez claim while working for Lizzo, they experienced a hostile work environment, disability discrimination, religious harassment and sexual harassment. She balled up her fist at me and she said, you're so effing lucky right now, you're so effing lucky as she was inching her way towards me to hit me. The lawsuit names Lizzo, her tour company, and dance captain. I'm so new to this industry, and for this to be my first experience is really crazy. The court documents have bombshell claims. The dancers say they felt obligated to attend an outing at a strip club where they were invited to take turns touching the nude performers. The trio also claim Lizzo's dance captain body shamed the dancers and that while competing on the reality series Watch Out for the Big Girls, they were required to participate in a nude photo shoot. Lizzo slammed the claims, calling them unbelievable and saying in part, these sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. This news coming the same day the long running Made in America Festival, which had Lizzo among other headliners, was canceled. The reason is unclear. Organizers of the music festival citing circumstances outside of production control. Elizabeth. All right, Sloan, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.